Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Hopefully you guys are all doing okay during this pandemic and hopefully you're finding something to keep yourselves busy with. But today I'm going to be trying to show you guys what this exhaust sounds like on cold start while driving and stuff like that. And I'm actually going to be swapping over the exhaust because it looks really ugly with those RS tips. And I'm going to be putting on actually my old exhaust that I had on my E36 when it used to be an A and that is the A and A exhaust. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get to it. So, just came back from the Spirited Drive. Something went wrong again. It's most likely coolant. And I wasn't wrong. Alright. Now we gotta find who or what broke. Okay, so instantly I can say that wasn't a successful drive. I was just about to switch the exhaust and I was on the way home. And then the radiator popped. So, as you can see, there's a fat trail over here. Leads all the way into the street. It happened right before I got home too. So, my theory what happened is, I see these fan shroud pieces missing. There's two of them missing, I believe. And why would they go missing? It's because they hit something, and usually it's this fan shroud right here. And it's wobbling, and it was popped out like this. I just popped it back into place. And usually this fan shroud pops out when these clips go bad, the ones that go right here. They break out. As you can see, they did on both sides over here, and the fan shroud just flies out. The fix to that is going to be a new radiator, obviously. Got to put this back into place, and what I have on my white E36 is probably what I'm going to do here. People call it cheap, but you know what, I think this works the best, because these clips, they become very brittle, so I usually zip tie this fan shroud into place on both sides, and from there forth, they don't break off, they don't, this fan shroud doesn't even move or even budge. I can show you what it looks like on my car in a second here. So here you can see I have it zip tied on one side, and on this side, I don't know which one this is, but for some reason it just doesn't move. And the fan sits quite nicely, and obviously this is a turbo car. So for a turbo car to not have the fan shroud moving with the power that it has, that's that really should tell you something, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing on the blue M3 now. So also after driving this thing, I heard a lot of rubbing noises coming from the back, and if you remember from one of the previous videos, I did put a 5mm spacer but it just boggles my mind that after a 5mm spacer it starts rubbing the tires so bad. My guess is that it's mostly alignment oriented and the spacer doesn't have much to do with it so probably this thing right after the radiator is going to need to get an alignment as well. So that's a huge bummer I'm actually not too happy that that happened but it's whatever it happens it's an old car so I have to be expecting these kind of things by now. I've gone through so much stuff with this white M3 and it's just unbelievable. With that said I'm going to continue the video because in plans, I originally had to put in my a and exhaust that was usually on this car, so... But that's not gonna happen today, because I could just put it on, but I could just rev it, and that's not exciting at all. So I feel like I rather should address all the things that I've done with the car, and probably what it still needs to do, and what my plan kind of is. And also, I have news on this car, the white M3, that I still need to tell you guys, because this thing has been giving me a headache as well. 
So starting off with the Blue M3, it still needs coilovers or struts, which I'm thinking to go towards the struts because it is a stock car and, I'm, and I am building for it to be stock, so that's probably what I'm going to end up doing with that car. But other than that, I think other than a new door that it might need, a paint job, other than that, I think that thing is golden at this point. So just like I showed you a few minutes ago, this thing needs an alignment bad because the wheels, I just looked from the back, they're kind of standing like this, so exactly opposite of the stance that it's supposed to have so that's worse controllability of the car so that's what that thing's gonna need to get as soon as I get a new radiator in it but yeah now a little bit about the white car so the white car actually I gave my friend a ride the other day and for some reason the car started acting weird so at first the wastegate kind of rattled off and it started making a weird sound and it was kind of like an exhaust leak so that's what it's gonna need to be addressed and actually I already fixed that but as soon as I did that the car started kind of going into limp mode and like misfiring and not just it, it just wasn't driving correctly. Then I checked under the hood and I noticed that there was a few uh, hoses that were kind of melted so I kind of chopped the melted part off, put them back together and in hope that that would fix my issues, it did not. So, so the issue that remains is when I turn the car over, it starts for about 5 to 10 seconds, it's different every time but then when you start giving it gas it starts to lean out I'm guessing or maybe there's an air leak somewhere but I've checked that whole intercooler setup I've checked all the piping there's absolutely no leaks except for like a small itty bitty one but that I don't feel like that should cause an issue even though I'm still gonna change it but I don't know it's just weird so some extra information the car does idle completely normally and that's really weird because usually I would think that that's the idle control valve but it's not so I have to think of other things so when the car idles, it does sound like it's kind of misfiring, but it's completely normal. It's just the way that these spark plugs are gapped. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a POV right now. So this is what happens when I give it gas. You can see that boost gauge or the ARFR gauge, it jumps. And it struggles to go up in RPMs. So now I'm going to go for a little test drive, show you guys how it's actually driving. And it's not really a good idea to drive it like this, but just for the sake of experience and so instantly you can see the car is trying to stall under normal rpms it's it's normal i don't know it's really weird but then once you start to give it gas and it's going up a hill it's just really weird and it doesn't want to accelerate either. This is full throttle. So hopefully from the video you could tell exactly what I was talking about and I don't know, just while driving the whole car just keeps breaking up, it keeps like limping kind of forward, backwards, it's really weird. The AFRs are jumping super high and the turbo doesn't really want to spool, like spooling but then not spooling. So far yeah, these are the issues that these cars have and there you go, this is just another E36 thing. I'm sorry yet again that I couldn't record exactly how I wanted it to and show you exactly what I wanted to with the new exhaust but stay tuned, subscribe, click the like button and, and also comment in the comment section down below what you want to see or maybe you want another review on one of these cars because I have a few other cars that I can do a review on but if you enjoy those uh, go ahead and comment that because if no one enjoys those then there's no point of me doing it so with that said, take care, stay safe during this virus, and peace out.